Oh my god. That was really fast. I wasn't expecting her to just turn. She was staring forward for so long. The fastest transition. God damn. Here on the D-pad, there have been faster. Both John and CJ have done that. All right, we'll come back next time. We're in. Welcome. Like, literally, same breath. Yep. But yeah, it's been literally a quarter of a second between episodes. Uh, or a day, depending on or how Or a you day. Or 24 hours in a quarter of a second. Uh, I'm Rick. I'm Peter. This is the D-pad. We're playing some Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. We're on our way to Victory Road. We are very nearly there. Yes. We're extremely close now. Well, I think Whoa, there's a little quick thing to do off to the left and off to the right. Yeah. Quick, but not extremely worth it. Extremely ineffective, yeah. Is that even enough that your shell bell won't just fix you to full? It, oh, it definitely should be enough there. With 10, yeah. Yep. It's the beauty of shell bell for like grindy areas is you can kind of maintain for a while. Yeah. I would be tempted to put it on like someone else in Victory Road, honestly. Um, sure. I mean, we'll have to. See, I'll, I'll have to see how it goes because honestly, like, if we're just fast enough with whoever's out front that we're not really even worrying about it, then you know, never mind. But yeah, Tentacruel. I'd be very happy to be done with Tentacruel. I was not expecting to spend like an hour and a half on the uh, on this water route, but I guess that's just kind of how water routes go. Yeah, I don't like surfing routes. I said it. Yep. Said oh, it my God. Hot ago. takes. Hot takes. Hot takes. He's not taking it back. I'm not. No, water roots are... I, I I can't tell if I like them more or less than caves. I mean, recent, in recent D-pad, I'm probably the most positive voice for Pokemon, but I yeah. don't like water roots. Yeah. I think, if anything, at least in caves, there's the, sti there's the mental stimulus of different Pokemon kind of showing up. Sure. In, when you're surfing, it's just water Pokemon. Yeah. Well, and and such a narrow list usually. Like yeah, it's one thing I'm looking forward to in in more future games is they've been they've been up, uh, seeming to do their work of making sure that the aquatic uh, uh, fauna have a pretty high diversity to them. Yeah, like there's a lot of different stuff out there, which they should. Are you kneeling and waving? What are you doing, dude? Some of the diversity that is in these older games comes from which fishing rod you have, which always drove me. Fucking crazy. So that, like, there is a, a large nominal catch list for a route. Yeah. But even back in the first game, only these fishing three. Fishing in Palatown could get you some weird stuff if you used a super rod. And then only these three, and then only these three, depending on which rod you had, and yep. then only these two that you actually run into in the wild. Yep. Or like two fish and a bird, right? Golduck. Right? It's like, uh, I, it'd be, I. I appreciate that Legends Arceus and Scarlet Violet have large, watery areas with lots and lots and lots of different options. Yes. Um, you have different regions that have different stuff in them. That makes perfect sense. But it's like, man, I really got sick of the classic games just being like, well, if your rod sucks, it's just Magikarp. That's all you get. That's oh, like, you have the old right. rod? Magikarp. Yeah. It's like, Why? Maybe just make it harder for whatever reason. Like, however you choose to make it work. Use bait. Make you need to use more bait for an old rod, but catch the same shit. That could be interesting if they used bait as the mechanic for... Right. As, as a resource consumption instead of just consuming your time. Right? Because, like, failed catches is a way yeah. that some games approach fishing at a lower Switching level. Contest. But yeah. that just means that you're then playing Fishing Simulator... Right. Where it takes actual time from your life. Why does she have her Pokeball in big mode? Oh, never mind. I think that was an inflatable is the thing. Like, I think it was a beach ball. But, like, yeah, I don't know. I, I honestly wouldn't even hate a Pokemon game that does have you fairly realistically fish. Sure. Like, there's been a couple Zelda games where that's been the case. Uh, Sonic Frontiers did not do that. Sonic Frontiers is the most automatic version of fishing I've ever seen in a video game. Cast the rod. Pokemon included. Cast the rod. Touch oh, the button. Oh, there's a ring. Bing. You got it. Woo. The fail rate is so exceedingly low on those. That's not That's not even, like, the, the, amount, of, the amount of time that you get that is in the ring is so... Yeah. Is so easy. It's not like a twitch. It's not yeah. like a hard only twitch the, game. Only the very hardest ones have you have you need to pay even the tiniest amount of attention. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I like I uh, I would not hate a Pokemon game that does have you do 
moderately realistic fishing mechanics as just a different style of interaction with Pokemon. If anything, it'd be kind of cool if Pokemon had different ways to catch stuff in general. Sure. Like, oh, you have to use, like, we've already got lures and shit, so why not have that be a more involved mechanic? Like, oh, there's a there's an Orthworm that's here, but it really doesn't like to come out of its hole. But if you use certain kinds of lures, you can kind of get it to come out, and then you can do stuff. Or, like, certain Pokemon that are swimming like certain kinds of bait. And, like, oh, yeah, you can, you can try to use different baits that are more or less effective or something. Like... I don't know. I think it'd be kind of interesting to have a more densely packed version of a Pokemon experience as opposed like as opposed to just like, oh, I like the biodiversity more than the low biodiversity, but also I wouldn't hate if there were more than one way to do things in general. Sure. You know. It's a long way to get to that point, but yeah. <laughs> Drizzle. Oh boy. There is a part of me that's like, "All right, when I get there, I should turn around one more time," but it's like I'm not going to be pulling Lucky out in Victory Road pretty much at all. So what the state of its PP really doesn't matter. There is might there, be one or two trainers that have a Pokemon I'd want Lucky out there for, but that's about it. Is there a flight point but not a Pokemon Center at I, the base of Victory Road? I or? don't know. I'd be a little surprised if there was, to be honest. Holy shit, the encounter rate is crazy out here. Yeah. John's going to lose his mind trying to get up there. This is a jellyfish problem. Yeah. He's gonna. I bet John starts avoiding trainers on his way up here just to be done with the water route. I can't say I blame him, but also I want those levels badly. So right. Well, you could throw a repel on and not deal with the tentacruel oh, every yeah. five feet, and still do the trainers. Yep. But also, I mean, it's not a bunch. It's not a lot of experience, but it is some, and it does add up. It's not nothing. True. So there's a couple sandbars I can walk on, though this one doesn't look like it's got anything for me. No. Now, did you get the overt item that was off on the left side uh, that needed to be reached by going back down the left side? I don't know. I got one. I, I got the swimmer that was on the right. Uh, this leads me back to this. Are you sure there was an item on the left? Uh, You might have gotten it then. Well, maybe I did. All right, that's fine. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> we got a trainer uh, battle in our immediate future. And I it on the one hand, according to the map, we seem to be quite close. But on the other hand, the map does fudge it a little bit. Sure. So we'll have to see how close we actually are. This is not going to be enough to kill it. Yeah. How many, how many spots do they have that are... Um, oh, shit. That are discrete locations that your uh, yeah. icon can appear on the map. Right. Is it always just in that one spot, regardless of where you are on this uh, route? route? Or does it actually... I guess I could test that right now, huh? It's not looking good. I mean, there are four segments that you can hover over, so yeah. one would hope that that means you're in the last quarter. I hope. It'd be nice. Maybe literally right after the swimmer is the is the shore shore yeah of Victory Road. All right. Oh, but it'll be nice to give Lucky a break. I always feel a little nervous when it comes to electric Pokemon, just because ground is pretty fucking common, and at this point, Earthquake is all over the place, as well as. God, there's Bulldoze is also relatively common. All right, but Lucky's doing good up to level 63. So it should be able to passively gain most of most of what's left of what I need for him. I can know I can surf, but I'd rather swim instead. It does seem weird. I agree. What? It's not weird at all. Why would it be weird that you like to swim? Troy. Yeah. Gyarados. You could stay out on top of the water or go in the water. I don't think either of those are strange. I'm trying to remember if Volt Switch is higher priority. Um, I think it's not. I believe it is slightly lowered priority. Yeah. I have been in an extremely similar situation. Granted, 20, 20 levels of difference. I'm fine. I was going to say, I've been in a very similar situation before uh, with a... Um, I mean, Volt Switch is great because it puts damage out as well as switching. Yes. Uh, I was. I, it was a Manectric... As opposed to a uh, a Luxray, but almost identical scenario. Yep. And I lost my Luxray 
or I lost my uh, Manectric to Gyarados because he used like Thrash or some shit. Or maybe it was even just Crunch, but it critted. But you know what? No, it's a 20 level difference. I, I feel pretty confident this is going to be one and done. Yeah. It, it is very funny in some ways how those little micro traumas from previous... Oh, this, this went bad before, so... All right, kaploosh. Poor guy making a mess in his shorts. Yay! Oh, almost yay. It's waterfall time. Yay. I was so ready. I saw it get lighter, and my brain was like, sand. I was like, wait, no. They Jasmine said straight up that you need waterfall to get here. All right. Uh, let's use it. Last Thunderbolt. Boing boing. Speed priority zero, really? For Volt Switch? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of them are neutral. Uh, That's great, actually, because that just means that, like, if you're fast. Yeah, then you can just uh, slap and get out of there. Oh my god, there is one here. Holy shit. I did not think there was one at the base. Which probably means this is a fly point, too. Yes, it is. Sweet. Hello. It broke me once, but that only added to my resolve. It broke me once. Yeah. Talking about Victory, Victory yeah. Road, but she can't say it by name anymore. It lives up to that lofty name. Oh, these are the only two people here. Okay. They're trying to warn you. Oh, man. An old man and an ace trainer who got broken. Yeah, an ace trainer got broken by Victory Road is, is a pretty big deal. All right. I believe there are a lot of ace trainers in Victory yes, Road. Yes, they are usually the most common types. Sometimes, some games I think actually have one, one higher one, like Pokemon Veteran or something. Like, but ace trainer is usually like the one that's there. Akimbo needs levels, but at fifty-two, I don't like the idea of putting it out there, especially against ground types. Pippa also, I don't like about uh, don't like having out against ground types. But at least I have pretty decent options for, like, moves and things. Speed is not great. 104 is really not very impressive. No. Uh, Delmar may actually be a better choice for ground and especially Graveler-style dudes, thanks to Grass Knot. But we may just have to kind of play this by ear. Uh, how is Pippa defensively? Uh, pretty good defensively. Yeah, and pretty balanced. Yeah, so there's not, like, a huge weakness. Actually... Basically, outside of my legendary, the best balanced defense on my team. Yeah. Lucky is pretty close as well. Natalie's actually pretty good as well. George Jude is beefy as hell, but yeah, weak special, to special. So water will just really fuck him up. Yeah. Uh, let me just double check. What are we? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Lucky hurts guys more than girls. Interesting. Which is going to be something I really need to keep an eye on as we get into here. Uh, inner focus for Natalie and Delmar. Torrent, which I hope never comes up. Uh, pressure, which is kind of the base one for like most legendaries, actually. Yeah. No, the the power up when your HP is low is like not a thing to capitalize on in a Nuzlocke. No, it's it's emergency use only, for sure. Uh, rock type moves. That'll evolve, dudes. Now, uh, um. There isn't anything that prevents a KO except for from full health. Because uh, you could use up a sash. There's, I was gonna say, there's focus sash. I think will will. But only from full health. There's a there's there's also the focus band, which I think has a ten percent chance of saving you from being knocked out. Period. But then it it breaks. Right. Uh, but it's also like not the best chance of it actually functioning properly. Unfortunately. No. Oh, there we go. I was like, why is something... Oh, Galactic Key, right? Uh, yeah, okay. Huh. Uh, let me check these real quick. By type. Do I have one for ground? Wow, this is a lot of things that do the exact same thing. So, yeah, but there are different flavors. So oh, that's right. So yeah. they'll, different Pokemon will like or get confused by different of those berries that's because right. of their nature. The flavors are tied to nature. Yeah. 
Oh, and these that'll increase uh, friendship but reduce other stuff. Right. Well, oh, that's a water way. Water rock and ghost. That's a way it. to cheese EVs late game. Yeah. Because you can increase friendship but decrease a base stat. Yep. Which can, in some cases, actually increase your final stat if you're smart about it. Right. Well, it means that you can you can switch to something else getting boosted with some like protein <sighs> or yeah, exactly iron or whichever one it is that you want. Victory road ahead. Sure is. Oh God. Well, why don't we come back next time? And we're I I think it's time. We're going in. All right. See ya.